Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Born here. McAllen, Harmony Collection, Ooh. Intense Arabica. Ooh, it's intense, and we're going to test it. Gene style. Harmony Collection, McAllen style. Ooh, what do I mean? What do I mean? Now, so, what does Gene style mean? We have, well, one, they have a YouTube channel. Two right. YouTube channels. Yes, well. Charlie and Gene. Right. Charlie and Gene. They've both. Multicasking. Both, but Gene especially is a big McAllen fan. Yes. Like you, me. She's like you. Yeah. Yep. She so, actually, um, what was the original? Charlie got with me Christmas time, and he said, hey, can we get a sample of... She made a joke it? about that, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. I think. I, can we talk about it? Well, cut it if you don't oh. want it. Well, you can tell me. Let me see if I can clean it up. She basically said he could give you pleasure. Oh, yeah, Charlie. <laughs> he told me that. <laughs> he yeah. could give you pleasure. Charlie was supposed to and it pay the debt, and it wouldn't change his status in any way in her mind. Oh, no, I don't know. It was the, uh, I was trying to remember. Charlie had gotten with me. He said, hey, do you still have any yes. of the classic yes, cut for 2017? And I said, yeah, I still got some. So he's like, is there any way we can get a sample of that? Yeah. And I said, absolutely. You bet. So I poured him some, and then um, he showed up, and he was like, yeah, Gene's a big McCallan fan. And huge. I was like, oh. She's huge. So I said, have you had, has she had all of the additions? Yeah. One through six. Oh, that's amazing. And he goes, well, we've had four, five, and six. And I said, do you want one, two, and three for her? And he said, yeah. 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 And when he got home, she said, hey, doesn't change your status. <laughs> <laughs> she said a little more funny than that. Um, but they do have new algorithms. Like if you curse in the first seven seconds of a YouTube, demonetize. Oh, really? Yeah. That's what I heard. That's what my boy so told me. So yeah, anyway, they start, Charlie started Christmas on Crestline, huge, YouTube channel, huge. showing how to yeah. hang Christmas He's lights. He's a Christmas different. light fanatic, has won all kinds of contests and yeah. stuff. How to hook them up, how to run yeah. them, all these different light, or I mean, sound He's stage catching up ones, the show LEDs and all that. Yeah. And then he started though, he was like, because he was getting all these uh, tax deductions and stuff with Christmas on Crestline. He said, I need to do that with whiskey. Sure, make a show. So he started a whiskey YouTube. Yeah. And multicasking was yeah. born. Yep. So Is that you're not supposed to say that? I think you can. Or do you think I was going another direction or something? No, like, I knew like, where you were going. <laughs> yeah. 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 Start a YouTube channel and tax deduct your whiskey purchases. As long as you make money. You got to well, make money. As long as you use it on the show. Yeah, and make money. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, last year's was the the Harmony Collection was the Rich Cocoa. Yeah, loved it. I thought it was a great, uh, just another great whiskey done by McAllen. They do such a good job of what I call finessing the sherry casks. Uh, most of these releases aren't um, sherry bombs. Sure, they're like a nice, just it's like a there's a little ooh, there's a little bit of sherry, oh, and then you're like, oh wait, there, there's a little more. Oh wait, there's, no, no, there's even some yeah. more. Well, but yeah, it's it's uh but they're no longer what it's becoming tough to find these now, right? Um, I don't know that it's tough, but you got to be you got to know when these are coming out. Be ready, yeah. pick them up pretty quick because they will disappear off the of shelves pretty quick. Got it. Generally, forty four percent on this one, and we're gonna drink the hell out of this one <laughs> since, <laughs> since Charlie and Gene saying right. we should have poured more. Right? Yeah, I knew it. I knew. It. I knew. You know, Charlie's probably like, ooh, careful, careful. There was like, like a little nuttiness. Yeah, it was a buttered. Yeah, like a buttered pecan nut. Yeah, but that's exactly, exactly where I was going. It's like yeah. a roast, or not roasted, but like yes. baked well, Christmas time, bo baked, baked, baked pecans with a brown sugar caramel. Yeah. God, that's so awesome. That is so different, though. Yeah. That's not a flavor you're usually getting. So I have or a scent. Yeah, this is the, and this is the first exposure I've had to this mm -hmm. one. I haven't smelled it, tasted it, anything yet. We just Bart brought it over. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. There's definitely, that's definitely the, okay, there's a little bit of a dark, almost like an Oloroso sherry note in there with those. It's darker, drier on the nose. Mm. I'm into the flavor. I've got a lot, nice little berry medley. A medley of berry. Mm. And then a vanilla, a vanilla strong Mexican vanilla, well, not quite that strong. Vanilla honey. And there's something else too that I can't get. I got it. And then it was get? gone. I don't know. But I was getting it too. There was a little bit different note in there. Yeah. Not the usual Sherry McAllen here. This is I mean there's there's some of it, but it's 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 weird. Okay, that's just the first sip. I gotta come in on the second yeah. sip on then, this one. After my second, I'm gonna try a touch of water to see what happens. What was that? touch of some kind of fruit okay no the, the sherry is there second sip got had some on my palate sweet berries but then there's also this darker undertone okay. not not like oloroso dark mm -hmm. so this is arabica coffee bean is where this is inspired or trending towards and i'm trying to determine is it coffee <sighs> it is darker yeah it is a little bit of a roasted Coffee bean was that power of suggestion? A collaboration with inspiring masters from the world of coffee. Yeah. Mm. There is there is a little bit of a roasted coffee bean on there, fresh. Um, and I don't mean like Folgers coffee beans. This is <laughs> dark, black, oily coffee. Not real strong, hints of it. Sweeter European berries. And American oak casts, which deliver notes reminiscent of divinely sweet yet strong espresso. Mm. I'm not sure I'm getting all that, but there's something I'm getting. As you were describing vanilla, the Mexican vanilla, I was thinking burnt, burnt vanilla, that that pecan, sugar coated, cinnamon crusted pecan snacks. Why do you keep looking over there? What's going on? Well, I was gonna look. Um, you talked about that one troll we had, and I took <laughs> a photo of it. Oh. So I'll probably bring it up near the end. So. That should have come out during Big Mustache. That was a big, that's a big mustache. Comment. It probably should have been, but it's probably going to come out here because this shirt, when I'm at work, I'll wear this underneath my normal shirt, so I don't normally change it. And we'll talk about that for a little bit, but not now. I think I want to compare this to the Rich Cocoa because people, right now on camera, because people are going to want to know, how does this compare? This is, I like this one. It's a little different. I don't know how you remember. I can't remember. I just don't. I can tell you what this is, but I couldn't tell you what that was. I'd have to go head to head, and then and then I could tell you. Let me go grab it. Oh, look at this. Go get it. All right. We're going to look at I know people are going to say, how does this compare to Rich Kekoa? Is it cocoa or cocoa? I, <laughs> you made fun of me once because I it's had a coffee cocoa. Show. Yeah, and I said I'll have a cocoa mocha. <laughs> well, let's before we do that though, let's go ahead and get done with <laughs> arabica. Okay, I, I, I want to compare though. I want this is compare. so uh, arabica intense. Arabica is a little bit drier. Man, it is. There are some dark notes in there, and it is coffee. Um, toffee. It is. I mean, there's some berries. All those nutty, no, nutty notes. Let me get a drop of water on it. Okay, I gotta try. Nope, this. nope, you can't yet. Dang it, I did. I, I want to. <laughs> did you do water? Yes. I added a bit of water to it. Inspired by rich cocoa. I like what they're doing. They've got the ability to do some fun stuff. So you want to score first before we go to this, or do you want to try some of this before we score? Water actually brought out a little bit more sweetness up front on the sweetness. intense Did you say arabica. Sweetness? 
win. No, let's let's score and stuff here. I actually this one might take some getting warmed up to. Yeah, getting probably used to. for me too. It's and, not wowing me. It's it is unique though. I, I'm not sure I would have said espresso, but I knew there was a little something else in there. The nose actually with the the roasted pecan, buttered roasted mm -hmm. pecan, mm -hmm. was, and I and then but the, that was not the flavor, not the flavor, which happens all the time. That's normal. God, I still like the nose. That, that is a delicious roasted pecan nose. Um. We've got the Nifty Nut House here in town, and they make these roasted pecans with like a buttery kind of, oh, they're good. That's what that reminds me of. So, um, I like it. It's nothing crazy over the top. I scored an 88. Hmm. It's different. It's unique. I can tell it's unique. It's probably not my wheelhouse. Um, I know we talked about what was spent on it. We'll bring that up in a little bit, or at least what I roughly think, or what it goes for. Let's not see what they spent on it. That's their bottle. But what you've seen it go for. 88 for me as well. Wow. Okay. It's these sherry notes are a little bit different. Yeah, go ahead now. These sherry notes, well, yeah, let's talk yeah, and, and price. These sherry notes are a little bit different than what I'm used to from McAllen. And, and not that, that's not a bad thing, but this is one I think some people are going to love. Some people are going to be not in love with it would be a, a, a divisive bottling um i'm it's not, not in love quite with the, these. the sherry or the i mean i i see what they're doing kind of i like that so, they're stretching and expanding uh so i'm gonna go back to the rich kakoa last year's now so not to this one was one last year's was 160 to 180 this year's running 180 to 200. okay and we do know it's hard to get a hold of, so you may see it a little more elevated mm, than that. Mm, mm, mm. Really? I don't even get the mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah, the, the rich cacao mm, is much sweeter, much more of those just nice, beautiful oh, cherry you get notes. the espresso there. That was nice. Yeah. Maybe it's the suggestion, but it definitely had that, that linger. Yeah. Hmm. These are both dry for me, though. I don't get the, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but there's the folks that love this, that love this. Love, do you, do you love, love it? it. <laughs> <laughs> I always want to twist tight. I know they don't. I kind of like the, I mean, even the understating packaging is nice with this, kind of the, the tan. And then again, this little hex grid triangle thing up here. I don't know. I like the packaging. I like the espresso coming through now. But neither it's, of these I would seek out. Ooh, uh, mm. I've seeked out a couple of the rich cocoas. I don't yep. know if I would seek out a couple of the intense Arabica. So it's not that it's that bad. It's not the it's not the McAllen character. Find it though, Probably. Won't you? Yeah. Yeah. So. I get a little bit of chocolate brownie on it now, going back to it, the intense Arabica. I ever tell you the chocolate but brownie story? I still... <laughs> yeah, I don't think you know it. <laughs> it's a good story. We can tell it at the end. Look, look at the very end of the video. Past the credits, there'll be the chocolate brownie story. If you want. All right. Uh, Patreon shout out. You remember his name? I don't. Oh. Sam, Sam Gallimore, Patreon supporter, and if I remember, five dollars. Yeah, yeah, big time. Wow, he made up his own range. Way to go, Sam! So the way Patreon We've got works, a couple. We've yeah, got a couple. oh yeah, a lot of folks do that. The way Patreon works is you go to Patreon, you search up Scotch Test Dummies, you can support as little as a dollar a month. You can do it a dollar a video, or some people go higher than that. Some people make their own little level there and do five or whatever. So the bottles we buy, not this one. We already told you, Gene actually loaned us this for the show. Thank you, Gene and Charlie. Yep. Um, but um, when we purchase bottles, we purchase from our Patreon funds. So, and if you're a Patreon backer, I've still got, I've sent out several more Christmas cards. 
And as supplies last, if you back oh, and you want to give your address, I'll send you off a Christmas card. A little bit late, but it's a beaut. It's a beaut. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up coins, glasses, hats, shirts. Hats, shirts. To hats. Uh, now, I helps didn't look keep it up. Uh, lights on, keeps the whiskey coming. I didn't look it up. We had a troll that didn't like it. I think it was even this shirt. And I got no, this. No, it was a different, a different shirt. So I got this at like a, a conference or something. I've been in law enforcement for 27, going on 28 years. So I have shirts that have thin blue line flags that go back to like the year 2000. The year 2000. Sing song voice. Thank you. It's not a political statement. I've literally been a cop for 27 years. Well, the problem it is became, it's become right. a political It never statement. was. But somebody came on and said, well, what are you, some kind of uh, a nationalist? And then they added right wing w. conspiracy. Yeah, right wing. You believe in the, 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 the flat earthers you know, or something. Yeah. And I was like, what? And then it had to do with the shirt. I'm like, oh, you must be new to the show. I'm a cop. Been a yeah. cop for a long, long time. 1995. For both cops. I happened to retire last there year. There you go. There you go. You retired. You had 29 years on. Yep. Way to go. I'm trying to catch you. Trying to catch you. So that's all that was. No need even putting out his name. Uh, we When we get the trolls, it kind of makes me laugh because they don't know. And I like to poke at them a little bit. I think it's the nature of my personality. Yeah. So I kind of laugh and then I go, Mo oh. Most of the comments are about you. I mean, like the, it's sure. either the mustache. Yeah, the, yeah. The loud, oh, like, the what, loud what kind of guy. children's shirt is he wearing? That big guy's annoying. Every once in a while, they'll be like, I don't like that little dude. I hate him. I hate <laughs> like his one, guts. One time. I hate that, that guy. If I saw him, I'd punch him in the face until his face disappeared. Kick him right in the Yeah, in the, in the gonads. And you were like, goodness, that one doesn't like me. I'm like, yep, fan of me. Scotch it, you scotch gods. Slaunch ya, dummies. dummies. Now we go in. If you've held all the way through the oh, wait, just credits, real quick. Go back to the rich cocoa real quick. Okay. Okay. After the uh, yeah. Arabica. It's okay. None of these will wow me. All right. So the brownie story. This is work related. I'm also a mm. union rep. Although mm. in this case, I was the one being investigated or being disciplined. So this was going through a process. We're at this high level meeting um, where it's called a grievance and it's at its higher, highest level. And we had a brand new head of this department, um, which is like the second highest ranked person in the whole city. And the rule is you get to the meetings early and I'm with my rep and we go in. And in this conference room, we're the only ones in there, there's this huge platter. And on this platter are these thick cut brownies that are really wide, really thick. They even got a little caramel melt boat river thing running through them. I'm like, dang, now you know me. Am I distracted? Yeah. Yeah. Those brownies got my attention. I'm like, what? Why they got all those in here? And he, and, and my rep Hans, he's like, those aren't for us. Don't worry about it. I'm like, well, they're for somebody. <laughs> and he like took your spot. Cause I'm like, I think I'm going to eat one. He's like, don't eat. One of the brownies. You know, we're trying to get on the good side. And if you eat the brownie and that's for a big important meeting and you're eating a brownie, I go, why would I put them in here if they weren't for the people in the thing? He's like, don't. Two minutes go by. That's amazing. I lasted two. I reach over. He's like, come on. I'm like, I, gotta, I gotta do it. I eat it. It's, it's delicious. It was a phenomenal brownie. I mean, I was like, God dang, those are good. 
to the point that I was almost going to do two. <laughs> and he was like, come on, on. So in comes everybody, all the big wigs are in there and everything. And before we start, the first thing I got to do is tell on myself. I go, hey, before we go, don't forget, everybody's here. I'm the focus of this, <laughs> okay? It's pretty minor discipline, but it was a big deal for the department because it deals with, was it good judgment or poor judgment? And I was pretty darn sure it was good judgment. But I go, hey, before we start, I got to make a confession. And everybody's like, oh, he's going to tell on the, you know, like I'm going to, and then the head guy's like, hmm? I'm like, I ate one of these brownies. They're unbelievable. I couldn't believe you left them in here. I know they're probably for like the mayor or something, but where are you catering these brownies from? Because I got to know. And all the big wigs on the police department are very judgmental, like, he ate shouldn't have been eating the brownies. And Hans, my rep, was kind of like, God dang, this isn't a way to start. And then the head of this goes, my wife made those. She is a phenomenal baker, and if I ate all she made, I would be like 400 pounds. So I bring him to work. He goes, you really liked them that much? I'm like, I love them. And now all the big wigs are like, yeah, we would have had one too, but we didn't know. And I'm like, well, and he's like, hey, before you leave, give me your phone number. And when she bakes something, I bring them in, I'll text you and you can come by, come by my office and I'll hold some for you. And now all the big wigs are like, what the hell? What the hell? How did he do this? How did he get inside and, and, and praise the brownies of this big wig's wife? I'm like, no, I just ate the brownie and it was good. It was real good. And to the, he would do that all the time. He'd shoot me a text. Hey, come on by. I got some chocolate cake. And I'd be like, snap, nugget the dog. <laughs> come by. And we ended up winning the, uh, the grievance there. He actually said, not only is it important to uh, make good decisions, like Brunchine did, but to actually care about your employees. And then before I left, he's like, take a brownie with you. <laughs> <laughs> and even Hobbs was like, dang, how did you know? I go, I didn't know. I was just being me. You know how that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've seen it. So if you stayed this long, thank you. You got a little nugget. You got a little story on the back end. <laughs> scotch it, you scotch guys. Where did that? I know, I'm throwing it in there. Throw it in. Don't be jabbing back. Don't be just because you didn't get no brownie. <laughs>